So now we are going for security today. So. So I'll tell you, create one custom report, which will have employee data, employee name, ID, so oh. your requirement is to create a custom report, which will have data from employee, employee huh. ID, name. Okay. You can write it in a notepad. ID, name, hire date, manager's name, country, uh, composition grade, and base pay. and composition grade and uh, annual base pay. So the task, I will tell you, create custom report. Keep it oh. noted. Because, I mean, the situation thing is, I mean, if I tell you 10 times, it would be difficult for you to remember. But if you do it for one or two times, you will remember that. So that's okay. why I'm following this process so that you can create it yourself. Yeah, copy this task and uh, keep it in your notepad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We are taking employee high date, uh, manager name, country, compensation rate, annual pay. So, employee annual pay? Yeah, you can say that. Employee detail report, something like that. You can name it. Employee annual pay detail report. Advanced, no? Yes. Yeah, data source. By primary business object. Yeah. So, the, yeah. Watch. Data source. It, it is a report from employee, right? You uh -huh. need to get data from employee. So employee, other. You can, you can search with employee, see if yeah. something is coming. So is it coming something which will help you? Session review, compensation events. The, how about compensation employee, compensation events for HCM reporting? Yeah, worker for HCM reporting, you, you should choose. Okay. So the... So should I say worker? 
worker search with worker hcm okay Ah, work up for SCM reporting. Employee, okay. Send. Uh, what does it does? Enable as a web service. It will show the report in the web service. Yeah, if you enable as web service, then you can use it in integration. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. One alert report. What did I miss? One or more report prompts are missing. So worksheet service can't use this report. Please add them from contingent worker type, employee type, worker type. So you have enabled as web service, right? Amma. So if you enable as web service, your prompt should be configured. So I, I will go to that later. So first, select the fields what I have told as a requirement. Okay. Employee ID. Oh, already there is one here. No business object. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Search with employee. But an employee I gave. Oh. Okay. No, but you are looking for employee ID, right? Oh. Is this employee not ID? So click on related action first. No, no, no. Yeah, triple dot. You will get the description. So see what is the description saying. Identifies the employee and allows you to drill into details and access related actions. Identifies employee means that should be employee ID, right? Or no? Sorry, sorry. Huh? No. Yeah, yeah, come again, please. Identifies the employee means is that not employee ID? It is not employee ID. So search with employee ID. Okay. Thought I gave employee ID. I'll search again. Yeah, now it has come. Global. Yeah, employee ID, this one. Okay, yep. work delivered. Hmm. Okay, the next one. It's name. So, employee name. So, if you just write worker. Ah. Uh. That's our employee name only. Oh, okay, okay. Why they are confusing employee and worker? They can use only the same thing, no? <laughs> yeah, it is same thing. Mm -hmm. No, no, this is not the worker. Click on related action. Okay. Is it a work day delivered field? No. Okay. If there is a work delivered field present, you should always use work delivered field. Right. So these are the best practices. Yeah, they should be there. No, 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 no. First, click on the related action. See what is best, then select that. Yeah. Huh. Because I'm going by that symbol. No, don't go by the symbol. Oh. But they, is there a certain symbol they are using the delivered uh, uh, field? No, right? no. There is no certain symbol. So you have to go to related action to check. So right. if you see, uh, take your mouse on top of anything. So first, take the mouse of the first one. Of the first one. Don't click on. Then, no, no, no. Don't okay, click. okay. Take the mouse only. Hmm. <laughs> Take the mouse. Now you see the triple dot. You click on that. Huh. So is it the water delivery? Yeah. So select this. 
so that is how you should proceed ha ah. okay so actually you have to delete the uh, below group column headings how oh, this uh, how i delete that yeah click on minus where is minus i see plus only ah down yeah, click on minus okay got it this is irritating okay higher date manager name So I can type high date now directly. Yes, you can type. No, don't give underscore. Okay. And don't give short form. Write full name. Same thing it does. No, write full name, not D T. Write D A T. Hearing this is uh, calculated. Higher D? No, no. Give D A T. Don't give D T. Oh, okay, okay. So there was some sound here. I didn't hear you. Yeah, yeah. No problem. So in Tamil Nadu for the trash collection, so they play this sound that a vehicle comes. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I understand. This is also calculated. Field. No, no, no. Not this one. But if you go to that field again. the first one you will see the difference so it is a global business object higher date right correct and it is also a calculated field you can see at the top it yes, calculated calculated field. field yeah so you should not select that okay do you think the first second one is that option i mean it's not saying work day field now this is work day delivery right. field so correct 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 so this one has to be selected yeah manager name search with manager only search with only manager so it says you know manager preferred name in uh, reporting display yeah actually manager. you can select any of that but if there is a single instance fields present it is better to use the single instance field not the text field not a not a text field so this one is a text field you can see the top symbol t field type is text right so search again manager level 1 okay manager level 01 this should be the right one yeah okay yeah this one is uh, the correct one country actually no this is not done actually once you start working on this you will know what is the perfect field so then you Correct. have don't to search mark so it is location country search with location country no not this one so what is the difference location country in country so it is employee location country so this is the name uh -huh. location address country so it is finding the country from the location address why Because... round about it's a uh... See, basically, when it is implemented, uh, unless uh, how it is in workday, can it be implemented? Oh, the country can be many things. First option is the country workers' home country. Second one is workers' work country. 
Third one is if the worker is on international assignment, there can be two countries. One is his home country. One can be his uh, assignment country. Country. So yes. There are multiple options. So yeah. that is why they are mentioning like that. Okay, so this is location address country. I can take the first thing. That's a work day yeah, field. First, yeah, that's a work day field. And click on related action to see the detail. Yeah. Then uh, country is done. Compensation grade. Okay, the first one. Yeah, work day delivered. Uh, okay, single instance. Yeah, exactly. So the, yes. when is a uh, when field type it's global that is different. Single instance is a local field. No, no, no. Single instance can be also global field. Then what is the difference? What is the single instance and uh, what is other field type? It says global. It takes, it, this is just database type. You can say so. You have text, numeric, any in many options is database, right? So um, single okay. is one to one relationship field. Oh, one to one relationship. Okay, but that is an uh, okay. Do we need to mention that? I was asking because it doesn't global only they can mention enough. No? So otherwise, uh -huh. compensation yeah. grade. So then, what was the last field? Uh, annual base pay. Actually, oh, it's already entered down. Okay, annual base pay. Contract pay. Business object. Uh, am I right way typing? Because all yeah. jobs. Annual it. base. Yeah, yeah, you are correct. Uh, doing it correctly. But it's showing chart CF only, lot of fields. Chart fail. Yeah, because a lot of people are already practicing here. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. Business object, okay. Uh, pay annual base pay range. This is okay. Slow. Okay, type again. See, like in Google, if it shows what we typed last time, it will be more helpful. And now check. What happened? So, Your search. Search with annual base pay. Oh, base pay. Annual base pay. That's what we typed now before. No, no. You are typing, but you are not pressing enter. You are clicking on that triple dot. Oh, that's a problem. But what is this for now when I'm typing when it comes? <laughs> that they should not keep it there then. Okay. No, no, that is for different purpose. purpose so okay. if you write, yeah, there is one purpose. So if you write something, then you have to click on that to write again. Uh-huh. Hey, mostly this CF chart field it's saying. Uh yeah, go little down. Total base pay. Yeah, this is the one. See, I have without that, I have selected it should be the right one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you are Done. progressing. Yeah. Okay, good. So then, then you go, now you're getting one error, sorry, right? So you yeah. go to prompt now. Prompt. Where should I go? No, prompt. Prompt tab. Prompt. Uh, where is that? Scroll up, scroll up. Up, okay. Oh, top it is there. I'm in the top. No, no, no. Column, sort, filter. Ah, here, tabs. Okay. Tabs, I see now. Yeah. 
Now you just scroll so, little you know, from, from, from Now you get one option like populate undefined prompt defaults. Click on that. Um, uh, so check that box. Yes. Okay. Then press OK. Press OK. That should go away. Yeah. So you're a genius. <laughs> now four yeah. minutes, sir. Hmm? This is a warning, not error. It's fine. What happened? And it's not checking the box. No, no, no. Once you check it, it refreshes. Uh huh. Okay. Now you test this report. Don't run. Okay. You Employee. get one option of no, no. Test. You go down. Go down. Go down. Uh, one just second. I'm just, just noting down the report name because next time I'll open the PPT. Right. So I can take the screenshot. Annual pay detail report report name about click on test ah oh. okay oh so this is not the correct employee id cancel again <laughs> edit this report edit cancel What happened? No, this is not the correct employee ID. So uh, we have to select another employee ID. Period. No, cancel, cancel. I okay, then refresh the, tab. refresh the tab. Refresh the tab. Just click on the op and enter. Or maybe open uh, open a new one. Now cancel. Yeah, click, give the name of your report. Yeah, that's better. Okay, employee annual pay detail report. Okay. Am I in the right place? G? Yes. Click on the report name. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Little left. Little left. Here? No, no, no. no. Go, go back. Go, click on, uh, take your mouse on top of the report name. Okay. Oh, okay. Click on that. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, okay. So this is the... and edit. Huh? A related action and edit. Related action and edit. Of the report. So related action is the triple dot on the side of the report. Ah, okay. So this terminology I have to remember here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that you need some time to. <laughs> this, you know, uh, it suddenly doesn't click, you know, I have to click it there, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the people saw it, we go to the tab, you know, select from there, you know, that yeah. is uh, the tab. You wait for one month and it will be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I had to do it for a month. Uh, abhi kya karne ka either? Custom report, go to custom report and edit. Ah, edit. Okay. Yeah, the first option. So when there is a break also, you will forget the things. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you scroll down. Okay. Uh, click on the triple dot just beside employee ID. Employee ID, okay. No, not this triple dot. Uh, okay, first you are sometimes back. You are asking, right? That why do you need that? Uh, that yeah. Uh -huh. Now you click on that. Right, employee ID. Or some number. Yeah. Right, employee ID. Too much type, okay. Employee ID. Okay. Enter. Enter. Select the first one. Go to prompts.
remove that employee IDs. No, no, scroll down, scroll down a little. You can see the prompt default. Remove that, that employee IDs. This, this default. This, okay. No, 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 just click on minus. My, okay, take the employee ID out. Yes. Okay, done. Bass, okay. Hmm. We don't need employee ID? No, that is a prompt. We don't need that. Oh, that is a prompt. Okay. Then again, okay. 400. Okay. Column heading, overriding, XML alias. All right, it's fine. It's fine. That's okay. As a warning. Mm -hmm. They can say warning now. The alert, alert, warning. They can uh, this change. Yeah, alert is working. Yeah, warning. Uh, both are same. Yeah, okay. Same. Now. Okay. Press okay. Okay. Run. What is this thunderstorm source? The data source symbol that is. Ah, the, I was asking what is this thunderstorm thing? You know, on the in the data source so that is a symbol for data source. Yeah, that is a symbol for data source. Should I run the report? Yeah, test, test, not run. Abba. Okay, cancel. No, fine, fine, cancel. So if you run, ah. it will run for all the workers. Oh, okay, okay. It will take time. If you Why? test, it will run for 10 workers. Ah. Got it. So it will take. Click on the related action of the report. Ah, okay. Edit again there. At the... No, 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 not edit. Not edit. Not edit. Ah, oh, custom report. Custom report and test. Scroll oh, down. Yeah. yeah, I saw that there. I think this is better. Ah, oh. should I select some worker type? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Press okay. Should oh no need to select any field. Okay. No need. Oh. Logan McNeil, Steve Morgan, okay. Super total base pay annualized amount. Export to worksheet, Excel, download. Collapse chart. So now we'll go to security for this. Yes. Yeah, how can you go to security? So you go to related action again. Yeah, there I think I should find. And what did you say for this one? Custom report edit. No, no, these three. You no, know, oh, like this is, this is the resubmitting the report prompt. So if you cl click on that, click on that. So it will run the report again. Got it. Okay, then I understood. Now I don't want to do. Sometimes it takes time, maybe a lot of people are working. Okay, now we we'll go to security. Either I don't see any option security, some process no, where no. I custom report edit. No, no, custom report oh, edit. Oh, edit in the first one only. Oh, oh edit method that. Yes. Then we now have... you go to security tab. There is one tab called security. Bottom. Yes. I am at uh, bottom, I think. No, no, no. There is one tab just after prompt. Prompt tab. After, after Tabs, prompt okay, tab. okay. Huh? Prompt. Oh, prompts me. No, no. You get share. Share option. Go to share. Share option. Oh, yeah. Correct. You are right. Now you click on shared with specified authorized group and user. Okay, I go down. Scroll down. Uh, yeah, now it says, yeah, I have seen you when you are doing share with the so share with specific groups. Uh, yeah. Okay, authorized groups. So but there you have to mention this. 
anything you want so you have to ask your client that for for a report hmm. what are the security groups they want to share that with ha oh, correct workers in management team so chumma i'm selecting one so you can select anything so if you select this hmm. then only this security group would be able to see this report not in exactly. yes yes right whatever we are selecting can i create my own test security group yeah you can create then i'll see that for test purpose i'll use that as the same thing so we have to come out of this window to do that but that is a long process so creating so, a security group creating a security group uh -huh. is actually normally we reporting consultants don't do okay so creating a security group is done by security person yeah i am not to act as a security person also no okay okay like, okay the then you there there is a long process so it is maybe taking one whole day of time to complete that so if you want we can do that tomorrow yeah so that i am noting down tomorrow because uh, when i go to security that is the main role tomorrow class creating security all right okay so then say okay just say give save some group yes yeah, okay okay done run again a hey, employee type worker types two fields were there uh, we talked about employee type worker type both are same is it not so no you can click on that and see if you uh -huh. click on the run report yeah. again next time i do that mm. said uh, 8274 items so we got employee worker hire date manager level location address compensation grade non management field sales okay item per page that is total base amount okay it is rounding up cool the next way up security we have given for that so that we have done 